welcome to this week's video. My initial plan was to go to Lavelle's Wetland Trust, but during the week I've been monitoring um, the WhatsApp group chat uh, for that trust and a colleague of mine who's uh, a plumbing lecturer, another Mark, we both noticed that on the Thursday uh, a bitten had been spotted, or several bitten had been spotted, on uh, a lake complex that's right next to Lavelle's, which is uh, Dinton Pastures Country Park. So I had a little chat with him and we made a decision that we'll, we'll have a little walk around uh, that complex together and, and just see whether we can we can find them. Uh, it was initially a, a really cold <laughs> morning, about minus six uh, in the car when we arrived. Um, but yeah, uh, so it looked a absolutely fabulous um, complex. I've never been to the, the other lakes on that complex, but it's just an absolutely fabulous venue. So the bittern, the very secretive bird, a thick-set heron, and uh, difficult to, to see really they, uh, the way in which they move just uh, on the edge of the reeds and they stand up uh, with their heads up high. With their camouflage it's almost impossible to see them. They were extinct in the UK in the late 19th century due to uh, wetland drainage and, and hunting, but uh, it was recorded that they returned breeding uh, in sort of approximately 1911, and slowly uh, they've recovered. Uh, but even so, they're quite small numbers. There were 180 males uh, recorded uh, by the RSPB in 2016, so they're still quite rare. So I felt quite privileged, really, to be able to um, join Mark and and, and seeing these birds. Unfortunately, we had uh, someone, a photographer, <laughs> believe it or not, that disturbed them and they, f they flew off. Fortunately, um, I've noticed that uh, in the chat, they haven't been um, frightened off complete from that, uh, from that venue. But uh, yeah, we walked around back onto Lavelle's to uh, look at uh, the different lakes there's two lakes that they have heights on so we they've got three heights so we start off at bitten height and all of the lakes were frozen over but what amazed me was how resilient the birds are in in effect that they either uh, they are keeping uh, the iced three in their movement um, or well, they're just taking advantage um, of, of the fact there's a natural opening in the ice. But even so, this one here is daintily walking across and the heron seems to be slightly stuck in the ice. I 
Martha. Little Grebe here. Little Bum. But still in this slightly small opening, they're still diving down after food. Well, they have to feed. And we have a great crested grebe here. A lot of coots. A little grebe darting around in between them. Then we moved along to another hide called uh, Teal Hide. And again, such a fabulous scene. With all the reeds here, there have been bitten, spotted here. But what we spotted high up in the tree was this buzzard. And the light wasn't quite right, but you could still see how glorious he looked. Then he decided to to fly off right in front of the hide and then we could see him in his true colours with the light shining off of him. The bright yellow feet, just a little bit of yellow and black on the on the beak. But his eyes glinting. Oh man. This is the this is the closest I've been to a buzzard and they are big and very impressive. So then we moved to Ron's Hyde and where the water rail had been spotted. It's been reported to be spotted um, in the group chat and Mark spotted him first, very kindly pointed him out to me and I didn't have an opportunity to get the the tripod out so it's all handheld here it's a little bit shaky so I do apologize for that but um, the Sun was just quite low in the skies about three o'clock in the afternoon but it's a perfect lighting really and um, quite a small bird but very distinctive gray and uh, the red beak a very secretive bird but if you want to try and find one then winter is the time So we have some feeders out for the birds and uh, the water rail has obviously realised that uh, there's uh, food that he can he can easily gather from the ground so you can see here I've, this is really quite close to the height and uh, he's uh, just picking up some easy feed amongst the grey tits and blue tits.
the set of reeds that the water rail came from there there were these reed buntings back and forwards to the feeders gave me an opportunity to capture one and again the camouflage of these birds obviously developed over over time so they definitely match into their environment to make them hard to spot. So on the way back to the car, we looked to see whether the bittern would make another appearance, but no, a heron did a little flyby. Just before we got to the car park, swung the final look across to the across the lake as the sun went down. I'm thinking of doing a video that represents this year month by month and this is definitely going to feature in the December part of it. Great venue, great company and just unbelievable weather. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like and subscribe and as always, see you in the next one.